Getting sick sucks, but it used to be a lot worse. Before the development of the vaccine, people regularly died from diseases we rarely have to hear about today. If a pregnant woman contracted rubella, she was likely to have a miscarriage or pass the disease onto the baby who would have serious birth defects as a result. Polio would infect a patient's brain and spinal cord, eventually rendering them paralyzed and, in some cases, unable to breathe without massive contraptions known as iron lungs. You get the picture, and the list goes on. Vaccines save lives, plain and simple. But today, there is a growing anti-vaccination or anti-vax movement which claims that vaccinations are dangerous and unnecessary. If too many people adopt this mentality, we could see death tolls, especially in infants and children, rise. So where are people getting these beliefs? And more importantly, where are they getting the science wrong? For myth number one, we're going to address the elephant in the room, because let's be honest, it's the one we always hear about. Vaccines do not cause autism. The claim that vaccines are linked to autism originated from a 1997 study by Andrew Wakefield, who was a surgeon. I say was because Wakefield lost his medical license after his work was investigated by the scientific community. The topic has been thoroughly researched and there is no evidence linking the two. So say it with me, vaccines do not cause autism. On to myth number two, vaccines do not contain unsafe toxins. Anti-vaxxers often peddle the idea that vaccines are unsafe because they contain substances like mercury, formaldehyde, or aluminum. The truth is that while some vaccines do contain some of these substances, none of them are present in dangerous levels. Quantity matters when you're dealing with substances and chemical reactions. For example, while formaldehyde can be dangerous to humans, our bodies produce it naturally at higher rates than you'd ever experience from a vaccine. The third myth we're looking at is the claim that vaccines actually cause the disease they're said to protect you from. It's true that some vaccines can cause symptoms of the disease they're protecting against. But the truth is that these symptoms are very mild and very rare. I'm talking less than one per one million cases. And they are actually indicative of a healthy immune system. The body is responding to the vaccine itself, not the disease. The only instance in which a vaccine actually caused an illness was the oral polio vaccine or OPV. This vaccine is no longer used, and there has never been another recorded instance of any patient getting sick from a vaccination. These are just a few of the many myths surrounding vaccination, but it's important that these are addressed and debunked. This isn't a debate. It isn't a difference of opinions. The science has been established, and the lives of millions of people are at risk. Even if you are vaccinated, the increasing numbers of those who aren't put people at risk because herd immunity is compromised. Herd immunity is an incredibly important part of having a healthy society, and it isn't understood well enough by the public. But it's a topic that will need its own video to explain. Music